forgive me, the next petition means I need God to cleanse me because we're so prone to bumps, like those sheep covered with, with all of the uh, bruises and wounds that easily get infected with bitterness. So we need God's cleansing and we need him to protect us because we're so vulnerable. Don't you feel vulnerable after Paris this weekend? Everyone's sure ISIS is bad now. Demons are worse. You can see people with black flags and guns. You can't see them. And there's only one protection. And he asked us to ask him to protect us. And the world around us is so filled with enemies and dangers. I need to pause every day and arm myself for survival and victory as I invite you, God, to deliver me. And finally, I need God to empty me. I'm so prone to pride. You know what pride is? Thinking I can make it on my own. I'm self-sufficient. I'm self-focused. We need to pause. We need to ask God to empty us and, cultiv- and, and empty us of cultivating a self-driven life. Did you read that over the weekend the California police pulled over a Google driverless car? They pulled it over. They went in, and it was empty. It was an autonomous car. Did you know it was such an illustration to me of a, we are self-driven. We're not allowing God to drive when we're proud. What's the solution? Because we're weak and fearful, we need to focus back on you. And before Jesus wants us to do something. Because we're weak, we need to focus back on God. And, and there are many ways to do this. We can read the scripture, we can memorize and meditate on scripture, or we can take great hymns of the faith that have high levels of doctrinal content. How does he provide, by the way? By more than our necessary food, the word of God. You can do a little test how you're doing this week. Has his hand provided all you need, or have you sought to make it on your own? Have you neglected the feeding of your soul for the feeding of distraction and of temporary and of what usually robs us of the joy of the Lord?